Today we're looking at converting units and how we use the power of 1 to accomplish that. So let's take a look at an example. Here we have 16 ounces equals 1 pound. Now if we divide both sides by 1 pound, we would then have okay, 16 ounces equals 1 pound. And we'll divide both sides by 1 pound. Then we can cancel the one pound on the right side of the equation, and that leaves us then with 16 ounces equals, divided by one pound, equals one. Now we could have divided by 16 ounces instead of one pound, and that would have said then we would have had one pound divided by 16 ounces equals one. So we can divide either way based on what units we're wanting to convert from. If we were trying to convert from pounds to ounces, we would use 16 ounces over one pound. If we're trying to convert pounds, uh, ounces to pounds, we would use one pound over 16 ounces. We can do this with any unit. So for instance, 1,000 meters equals one kilometer. Well, we can then divide by one kilometer and we would have then 1,000 meters divided by one kilometer equals then one kilometer divided by one kilometer. And again, we can cancel out the one kilometer which equals one. So let's take an example like uh, this one, number one, let's convert 15 pounds to ounces. Okay, so first thing we do, we write down 15 pounds. Now we know that, we just know, we learned that 16 ounces is equal to one pound. So we want to convert to ounces, so we're going to multiply this and by the conversion 16 ounces, the ounces will be on in the numerator because we want the ounces to be our final units divided by one pound. We want the pounds in the denominator so that we can then cancel the pounds and then that leaves us with 15 times 16 ounces which equals in uh, then and equals 240 ounces. Now let's look at example two. Let's convert 330 meters to kilometers. Earlier, earlier we had 1,000 meters divided by one kilometer equals one. Here, as we said earlier, we can take the reciprocal of this to use for our conversion. So we have, let's start with 330 meters, and then we want kilometers in the numerator because we want to end up with kilometers. So we have one kilometer over 1,000 meters. Then we can cancel the meters, and then that gives us then 330 kilometers divided by 1,000, or in this case then, what do we end up with? We end up with in 0 0.33 kilometers. So 330 meters equals 0 0.33 kilometers. This procedure can also be used for more complex conversions, like converting 35 miles per hour to feet per second. So let's start by writing down our, we're going to convert 35 miles per hour. And we're going to convert first the miles to feet. And we know that 5,280 feet equals 1 mile. 
Now we need, uh, we want to convert two feet, uh, and so we want to make 5,280 feet is in our numerator, and one mile is in our denominator. Then that allows us to cancel out the miles. So now we've got feet per hour. So if we multiply that out, we've got 35 times 5,280 feet is going to be, that equals 1,884,800 ,800 feet per hour. Okay, now we need to convert from, uh, we need not feet per hour, but feet per second. So let's take our 184,800 feet per hour. And now let's convert the hours. We want to convert hours to seconds. So we're going to multiply this then by one hour is equal to what? 60 minutes. Okay, so that allows us to cancel out the hours. Now we, we've got feet per minute, but we need feet per second. So we need to do another conversion from minutes to seconds. So we know that one minute is 60 seconds. Okay, so now that allows us to cancel out the minutes. So now we have feet per second. So, when we multiply this out, we get then and divide 184,800 divided by 60 times 60, we get 51.1 feet per second, which is what we wanted. Okay, this page is showing uh, common units and conversions that we use. Uh, so it shows length, like miles to kilometers, inches to feet, millimeters to inches. We also have units of force, which is um, like pounds to newtons, ounces to pounds, newtons to kilonewtons, time, years to days, units of volume, liters to gallons, cubic feet to liters, so these are commonly used units. So we're going to use these units uh, then in our next uh, examples. Okay, what I want you to do is to, uh, I want you to stop the video here and try these problems yourself on some paper, you know, and see if you can do these. You're by yourself. Okay? And then on the next page, we'll work them out and check your answers. Okay, let's see how we did. We want to convert 12 cubic feet to cubic inches. All right, so we're going to start out with our 12 cubic feet. And we're going to convert that to inches, so we need to put our inches on top. So we have 12 inches in a foot. But here again, we have cubic feet. So we're going to have to cube our conversion. So then that will lead us to then 12. We still have our 12 cubic feet. And then 12 cubed is going to be 1,728 cubic inches and one foot is still one is still uh, one cubed is still one but we have our feet now are cubed so now we can cancel out the cubic feet and then all we have to do is multiply 12 times 1728 to get our answer that 12 cubic feet is equal to 20,736 cubic inches. 
Okay, and our next one, we have 300 kilometers, okay, 300 kilometers, and we want to convert that to miles. Well, in our uh, units conversion sheet, we see that one mile is 1.61 kilometers. Okay, so that in that case, we can cancel out the kilometers. And all we have to do then is divide uh, 300 by 1.61, and that will give us then 186 miles is equal to 300 kilometers. Okay, so now let's look at, 50, we're going to convert 50 cubic feet to gallons. Now in this case, uh, in our conversions, we don't have a directly cubic feet to gallons. We have to go through a couple. We're going to have to use them first, cubic feet to liters, and then liters to gallons. So our first conversion, we have we have one liter is equal to 0 0.0353 cubic feet. Okay, that's good. That allows us to then cancel out our cubic feet. Then, but now we're in liters, but we want again gallons. So then we have to use our conversion that 0 0.264 gallons is equal to one liter. Okay, so that would allow us to cancel out the liters and leaving us with gallons, which is what we want. So then 50 times 2.264 divided by 0 0.0353 will give us our answer in gallons so that 50 cubic feet is equal to 334 gallons. Okay, let's look at the last one, number four. Number four says we want to convert five meters per second, five meters per second to miles per hour. Okay, we've got to do a number of conversions here. So let's see. First, let's do our, our uh, meters. Let's get that into miles. So we know that we have a conversion of one kilometer is 1,000 meters, right? Okay, that's good. Let's, that takes care of our meters. Now we're in kilometers. So then we need to use our conversion that one mile is equal to 1.61 kilometers. Okay, that takes care of the kilometers. Now we've got our miles. So the next thing we've got to focus on is the time, which is seconds, and we need to convert that to hours. So we know then that uh, we have 60 seconds is in one minute. Okay, now that takes the seconds, cancels that seconds. And then we have to get the minutes now to hours, and we know then that 60 minutes is one hour. Okay, so that allows us in the minutes cancel. So now that leaves us what we want. We now have our units that are left is miles per hour. That's what we want. So... We then, when we multiply 5 times 60 times 60 divided by 1,000 times 1 1.61, and this gives us then, we work that out, that's 11.2 miles per hour. So that gives you some examples. Now you can go to the a worksheet that is in the uh, unit conversion lesson in the workbook and do those problems.